Hey everybody, this is Joe with GeoVision back with another demo tutorial video. For today's video, I will be going over the Save as AVI feature within the GeoVision VMS software. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and also giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the exposure of the channel. So again, for today, we will be going over the Save as AVI feature in VMS, which is one of two ways that you can back up video footage. So to do this, you will first want to go into the View Log tab in the top right-hand corner. It looks like a film strip. So you can just click that. You may see a multi-channel division, but what I want to show today is creating a single channel division where you can full screen a camera and it will save the video like that. To do this, you go into Toolbar and hit Content List. And then on the left, you will want to expand your Layout section. And you hit the plus sign, Add, and select Add Layout. Now, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it Single Camera View. And then you can click the Customize bubble right here. Once you do that, you hit OK. And you'll notice that you have a grid that comes up. You can just click and hold and drag to highlight the entire grid and then click the merge button in the top left and it will now create a one channel view. Once you do that, hit OK and it will say, do you want to assign the cameras to this layout automatically? I recommend just hitting no, that way you can choose which camera you want to bring into view. Next step would be to bring in the camera that you want to back up. On this particular machine, I just have one camera, which is right here when you expand your camera tree. But if you had multiple, they would all be listed out here. You can locate the camera that you're interested in reviewing backup footage for and, and creating the Save as AVI. And then you just simply drag and drop the camera in. And at that point, you can then close out your content list. Now, once you've dragged your camera in, you'll notice that you have tick marks here on the timeline if you are recording on motion. And if you're looking to kind of find where your video clip is that you're wanting to save, and maybe you know, for example, that it's between the 15 and the 1600 hour, you can put your mouse in between those two hours and then scroll up with the scroll wheel on your mouse. And it will now break you down into a minute view of that hour. If you hover over a recorded clip on the timeline, you'll notice here that it shows you a little thumbnail preview. And you can run your mouse along there and it will update that preview for you. Once you have found the event that you want to back up, you can just put your mouse at the begin beginning of it, right click, hold, and then drag. And you'll notice that it puts a blue highlight on that timeline. And it will also update your timestamp in the preview window. Once you've got to the end of your clip, you can then release your right click on your mouse and you'll see a menu that comes up. For today's video, we will be selecting the Save as AVI option. So when we do this, we have a window here that comes up. And in this first screen, you can trim down the time frame if you would like to. You can either do that by manually typing in these numbers here or on the slide bar here, you can just slide it and trim down to the size of the video that you want. After you do that, if needed, you can click on the setting button and you'll notice another window that comes up. The first option that you'll want to uh, change would be right here, set location. This is where you're telling the software where you want the video to back up. So if, for example, if you wanted to put the clip on your desktop, you could just navigate within windows, choose desktop, and then you can name the file if you want to. So let's say we want to call it demo clip one, for example, you can hit save. And the only other thing you want to make sure that you do is down at the bottom where it says codec. This may or may not say WMV9, but if it, if it does not, you will want to click the drop down and you will want to select WMV9. That saves it in a standard uh, codec so you can play it back on a Windows Media Player such as Windows Media. So you can just hit the X once that's done, and then you can hit the start. Now, once you do that, you will see a merging list right here, and it will give you an update of what percentage of the merging process it is in. So you can just let this roll, depending on how long of a clip you're backing up, it may take more time. So feel free to walk away from your computer, let it do its thing, and then you can come back and it should be ready for you, and it would say complete. So we will just wait for this to finish the process. 
And as you can see there, it does now say complete. Um, so what you can do is right click and you can either hit play or you can go to open path. And this will bring up your um, folder here where it will have the clip and then you can double click on it and it will play that back in Windows Media Player. This has been a demo tutorial on how to back up video using the save as ABI method within the GeoVision VMS. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.